penis transplants have been done at this point in time. The first one was actually done in 2006 in China. And this was done after an episode of penile traumatic loss, but at about 14 days postoperatively had a real negative psychological response to having a transplanted penis and had it removed. So that was the very first one. After that, there was one done in South Africa in 2014. And that what occurred after a circumcision was done on a young man. I think he was about 18 when he had the circumcision and subsequently had a horrible complication where he lost a good part of his penis. So this is not something that normally happens. Apparently in South Africa, uh, there is this tradition where young men are given circumcisions as a transition to adulthood. And these are often done without sterile conditions. And so this these kind of sorts of horrible complications do happen in that part of the world. However, this is not common. In fact, I've never seen it or really heard of this happening after a circumcision. So that patient uh, subsequently did do well. After that, the first penile transplant in the United States was done in 2016 in Massachusetts uh, for a patient who had penile cancer.